video, we will be writing a pseudocode solution to meet the needs of the question. So firstly, we will enter a test percentage for each member of a class of students. So let's say there's 10 students altogether. The program will repeat the entry of the test percentage scores. So 10 percentages will be entered in total. Following the entry of all these percentages, it will output the lowest percentage mark and the highest percentage mark. So let's first of all ask some basic questions here. What are the inputs? The inputs will be the students percentage scores. What will the outputs of this program be? That will be the lowest percentage and the highest percentage. Do we need any loops? Well, looking at the question, it says enter a test percentage for each member of the class of students. So that infers to us that we have to enter the score for every student. So it's inferring a loop. So we're going to need a loop. Do we know how many students there are in the class? Yes. So this is going to be a count controlled loop. And we know that a count control loop is known as a for loop. So we'll put that in as a note. Do we need any if statements? Well, we're going to have to examine if the percentage that's been entered is the lowest or the highest that's been entered to that point. So we need to test um, if the lowest or the highest percentage has been entered. What processes or maths are going to be involved? Well, we need to update the lowest or the highest percentages if the condition has been met. Do we need any file handling? Well, the question doesn't really infer that we need to save any scores or percentages or minimums or maximums. So this is not applicable. So let's now have a look at the, the pseudocode solution. So in line 13, you can see that we are entering the number of students in the class. So this, we're going to put a little um, comment in here. This will be used to control the for loop. Now, this might seem unusual, but what we're doing is we're setting the minimum and maximum values. Now, it, you may think that lowest should be set to zero and highest should be set to 100, but what we're going to do is we're going to use if statements to see if the score that's been entered has broken that rule. So we're going to set it to the uh, most extreme values. So hopefully as we enter the mark, those lowest and highest will be updated. So let's have a look at our count control loop. So we've got a for loop here. So we're going to use a for loop, which is going to count from one to the number of students in the class. In this case, we may use 10. So the first line of the for loop, we're entering the percentage mark of the student. So this is the student's um, score in their test. Now we're going to our first if statement. If the student score is greater than the highest or the value of the highest variable, remember highest is set to zero initially, there is a good chance that highest will be updated with the new student score. That now we have the end if and we have our second if statement. If the student score is lower than the current value of lowest, 
and again I've set lowest to 100, then it will update lowest. Next count will allow our variable count to move to the next value of count, so count will be incremented or one is added to it. Now that is the end of our for loop. So once we've entered all 10 of our student scores, it will then print the value of the highest variable and the value of the lowest variable. Now remember this is pseudo code, so it's just a design. What we now need to do is we need to implement this in whichever language you're learning. We're going to implement this in Python. So now we've, in essence, copied and pasted our pseudocode over into my Python IDE, and we've made some subtle little changes. The first change I've made is this casting operator, int, which takes the default input type in Python, which is a string, and converts it to an integer or whole number, storing the value in number of students, the variable. Our lowest and highest variables are initialized to 100 and 0. Remember the, the opposite extremes to what you would expect. Then the next change of code, you'll notice that the count, we're using the in range command. So we're starting at student 1 and we're going to number of students plus 1. Now the reason why I've used plus 1 is the Python range command automatically subtracts 1 from the second parameter of the range command. So if I didn't put the plus 1 in, it would only do 9 students instead of 10. I'm then getting the student score, their percentage, and I'm casting it again. So this, the percentage will be entered, it will be cast and stored within the variable student score. The if statement is slightly changed again. Notice I've changed the then command to a colon. And notice there is no end if command. That's been deleted. Exactly the same for the lowest. I've replaced the then with a colon and I have omitted the end if command. And also you'll notice there is no next count command. Again, that's not needed in Python because Python is indent sensitive and its structure of its if statements and its loops is taken from the indentation. Our print commands are exactly the same. We are printing our string literal, highest percentage is, then the highest variable, then the lowest percentage is, and the lowest variable. So let's now see the output of this program. So now we have the program running within my Python IDE. So let's do a demonstration and keep the numbers relatively small. So let's try three students in total. So let's enter the score for the first student. Let's say he got 46%. Let's say the second student got 82%. And let's say the third student got 28%. So now we can see that the highest percentage was 82% and the lowest percentage was 28%. So this is showing that our program is working correctly.